Esima nasifa tua kuva ebana. Esima nasifa toke ya mlele. Esima. and also bring the word of God to us tonight. And uh, tonight I want to read uh, in the book of Luke chapter 7, the gospel according to Luke chapter number 7, verse number 11 all the way to 15. That is a very wonderful passage. Uh, Luke chapter 7, verse number 11 all the way to 15. And I commence reading in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Soon afterward, Jesus went to a town called Nahin, and his disciples and a large crowd went along with him. And as he approached the town gate, a dead person was being carried out, the only son of his mother, the she was a widow. And a large crowd from the town was with her, when the Lord saw her, his heart went out to her, and he said, Don't cry. Then he went up and touched the coffin, and those carrying it stood still. He said, Young man, I say to you, get up. The dead man sat up and began to talk, and Jesus gave him back to his mother. They were all filled with awe, and they praised God, a great prophet has appeared among us. They said, God has come to help his people. This news about Jesus spread throughout uh, Judea and the surrounding country. That is up to first number 17. But my concentration is uh, first number 11 all the way to number 15. We can pray together. Father, in the mighty name of our Lord and our Savior, 
Jesus Christ, we come to you this evening, dear Lord, with thanksgiving and praises in our hearts. We bless you, King of glory, because it is by your grace and mercy that we are here tonight. It is by your grace and mercy that we have also come to know Jesus Christ as our Lord and our, as our Savior. We want to say thank you. We want to bless you, King of glory. We appreciate this hour, a moment that we come together every Thursday. That we continue, King of glory, to get nurtured from your word. And now I pray this evening that our Father, as uh, we all join together with our viewers and our listeners online, as we join with the church in the house, uh, Lord, we pray that uh, you minister to us uh, because uh, we are listening. I am standing here as a vessel, and I pray that uh, by the power and also the leading of your Holy Spirit, God, may you minister unto us uh, because we are listening. For this is our prayer in Jesus' name. And all of us, we say, amen, amen. Can we see, say an amen that uh, will also be heard in our uh, AIC Umoja television. All of us, we say, amen. amen. Thank you. Thank you. It is good uh, uh, to be heard in our uh, AIC Umoja uh, television. And tonight, uh, from uh, the passage that we have read, I want to bring to you a message of encouragement uh, that I have given the title, When Divine Power Shows Up. When Divine Power shows up. And I want to say that uh, we live in a world where uh, many are the times that uh, we, are, uh, we are looking forward for God to show up. Kuna nyakati sinafika na nyakati hizo sinafofika katika maisha yetu tunaomba, tunaomba wengine wanaomba na kufunga wengine wanamtafuta bwana usiku na mchana because uh, they want uh, God to show up. Tonight, I am coming to you with a message of encouragement uh, when divine power shows up. And I want to say that uh, we are surrounded by all manner of uh, situations. Uh, we are surrounded by all manner of uh, challenges in this world. Uh, and we long for a time and a day when God is going to show up, we long for a time and a day when God is going to reach out unto you. That particular day when it is going to be your day. Nasio siku ya watu wengine. Can I hear a shout of amen? That day is coming tonight. I want to encourage somebody somewhere who is uh, uh, thinking that uh, God is late. Maybe it is a case of uh, uh, healing that you need, maybe for your relative, uh, healing that you need for your father and for your mother, healing that you need for your son or your daughter, maybe a financial need uh, that you are uh, trusting the Lord that uh, sooner than later, God is going to show up uh, tonight. Uh, I am encouraging you that uh, uh, very soon, uh, soon and very soon, uh, God is about to show up uh, and a new song is going to be in your lips. Uh, wimbo mpya utaingia katika kinywa chako kwa sababu Mungu atakuwa ametenda na akitenda ametenda. We are told that uh, Jesus is here with his disciples and a large crowd. Uh, and they were just in their normal daily activities. Uh, when Jesus had already begun his uh, public ministry. And uh, while they were passing through this particular town uh, by the name Nahin. Uh, the Bible says uh, when they came to this particular town called Nahin. Uh, they met with another kind of a crowd. I want to believe that uh, the crowd of Jesus, they were singing and jumping like uh, the ICU Moja praise and worship team, uh, and they were just behind uh, Jesus because some of them they had already experienced uh, the miracles of God. You know, when you kaona miujisa ya bana na ukanyamaza, when the miracles of God shows up in your life, 
you will be left with nothing else uh, than to sing and uh, give glory to God. And I want to say that uh, the, 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 the widow and the crowd that were carrying out uh, his son to go and bury him, they encountered Jesus also with his disciples uh, and another large crowd uh, that was singing praises to God because of uh, the things that Jesus had done to them. Now, I want you to understand this, that uh, one team was uh, singing praises to God uh, because of uh, what Jesus had done unto them. And another team was here singing uh, saji songs. Unajua nyimbo sa mazishi as naitwa saji songs. They were singing morning songs. Here is a team that was uh, praising the Lord on the other side uh, from Sifu Mungu wa Neema yote. And another team here is singing Tuabika kwa Musumbe and the two crowds uh, came into conduct. Uh, and I want to tell you that uh, it was not just two crowds. Uh, it was uh, God's divine power coming into contact with the uh, human in need. It was uh, God's divine power coming into contact with uh, the human in need. And I want to encourage you tonight that uh, when divine power shows up, you know, Jesus was God. And for him to encounter such a widow, it was uh, a divine kind of uh, an encounter to this woman. And therefore, Jesus encounters uh, such kind of a crowd. Uh, and when the Lord saw the widow, the Bible says, uh, his heart went out to her. And he said, don't cry. He said, don't cry. Usilie, don't cry. Usilie. I want uh, to encourage someone tonight uh, who has been crying, you know, what to analia sana, to naishi wakati ambao maitaji ni mengi. People are crying, people are mourning because of uh, the nature of the needs that are surrounding them. And I want to encourage you tonight that uh, when divine power shows up, there is an encouragement, uh, and the encouragement here from Jesus is uh, don't cry. Kuna watu ambao amelia sana the Lord is saying don't cry don't cry because uh, I the Lord I have uh, shown up to you and I am going to show myself in your life and uh, Jesus declared uh, such words to the widow don't cry the bible says uh, the next things that happened uh, was just uh, a manifestation of uh, God's divine power at work then he went up and they touched the coffin. And those carrying it, they stood still. And Jesus said, young man, I say to you, get up. The dead man sat up, began to talk. And Jesus gave him back to his mother. Can I hear an amen? Jesus gave the young man back to his mother. They was looking at those words. This year being a year of restoration. God is going to bring back things that uh, the enemy, the devil, has taken away from your life. This time around, uh, death had taken away the young man from this particular widow. But uh, Jesus, the divine power of God, when uh, that divine power of God uh, showed up, uh, it was uh, time for this son uh, to be given back to the mother in the name of God, our Father, who is uh, more than able and therefore that is exactly what happened uh, that uh, the manifestation of uh, god's power was at work at this particular time and the moment i want to mention uh, some three things uh, as i bring this uh, encouragement uh, message to a closure that uh, when divine power shows up uh, the following things uh, will happen in number one uh, god brings life in our dead situations uh, you know, there are situations that sometimes are uh, 
very like this particular young man. And I want to say, when the divine power shows up in our lives, when the divine power shows up in our families, when the divine power shows up in our country, when the divine power shows up in our church, when the divine power shows up in our church, when the divine power shows up in our youth, I tell you, God brings life in our dead situations. And tonight, I am not sure what kind of a challenge, what kind of a situation is it that you are going through. But I wonder, just to bring to you a word of encouragement that when divine power shows up, God brings life in our daily situations. God is going to bring life to someone who is deeply suffering because he has gotten into trouble so much in this world. God is going to bring life in that particular sickness in the name of Jesus. Some are thinking that this is your hand, but I tell you that it can be a beginning of a testimony of what God is going to do in your life. Can I hear an amen? When divine power shows up, number two, God intervenes when we least expect. God intervenes when we least expect. And uh, this was like the eleventh hour. The widow and the crowd, they were just on the move. I want to believe that uh, they were some few meters to the grave. Walikuwa mita chache, wafike katika kaburi. They were some few meters to the grave. And it was like uh, everything now was coming to an end. But I want to encourage you that uh, when he divine power shows up, uh, God intervenes uh, when we least expect. At that very 11th hour, when you are thinking that you are done, uh, that is the time and the moment God is going to show up uh, in your situations, uh, in your challenges. Uh, when you think that uh, uh, maybe there is no more uh, employment, there is no more business, God intervenes when we least expect. Therefore, that is an encouragement to us tonight that we need to continue putting our trust in the Lord. Jesus showed up to this particular widow and he encouraged this particular widow. And I tell you from there, everything else was a testimony of what God can do. Number three, when the divine power shows up, God's mercy is revealed because uh, it is never late in our situations. Uh, the mercies of the Lord are new every morning. We sing that. The mercies of the Lord. Uh, yes, kindness and uh, compassionate. Uh, our God is a God of uh, kindness and uh, compassion. And I want to tell you that uh, this kindness and uh, compassion is God's mercy. And uh, God's mercy is never late in our situations. Uh, when a divine power shows up, uh, it is time for God's mercy to be revealed uh, in your life and also in my life. And therefore, be encouraged tonight uh, in whatever situation, in whatever challenge that you are facing in this life, be encouraged that uh, God's mercy is never late because uh, his mercies are new every morning. They are new every moment. May the Lord God bless you so much. May the Lord God keep you. May the Lord God watch over us uh, that as we continue to trust him, uh, we may also continue to know that uh, divine power is at work in our lives. I request that uh, we all rise up together as we go before the Lord in prayer. Let's all rise up together. I am not sure of what you are going through, but I want to encourage you this evening that uh, God's divine power is at work in our lives. This divine power is uh, at work in the lives of men and the women. God is making a visit to men and the women. God is making a visitation to families. God is making a visitation to those that are sick and admitted in the hospital. Yes, some may be hopeless. Some may have come to their final end. But I want to tell you that when God's power shows up in our situations, there is going to be life once more again. 
God is going to bring life once more again in that particular situation in the name of Jesus. Therefore, may the Lord encourage you this evening as we continue to trust in him. Father, in the mighty name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, we continue to come to you as our Father and as our God. We continue to bless you, King of Glory, because you are at work in our lives, King of Glory. We want to say thank you for our Thursday our prayer service, King of Glory. A time and a moment when we come together to get encouragement from your word. And this evening, we bless you, King of Glory, that you have chosen to reveal to us that your power is at work in our lives, King of Glory. And I pray for these men and the women. I pray for whatever challenges and the trials that they are facing, King of Glory. You had an encounter to the widow of Nahin. I want to pray that you are going to have an encounter to the need of that brother, to the need of that sister in the name of Jesus. May it be known that uh, you are a God in the earth. I want to pray that our Father, in the mighty, awesome name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, may you, may you intervene, King of glory. May your power show up in the life of that brother and also dear sister, King of glory. May there be a time and a moment of encouragement in the name of Jesus. I pray that you are going to encourage the weak and also the timid tonight in the name of Jesus. Those that are admitted in the hospitals, those that have lost their loved ones and life has come to an end. I pray that you are going to encourage them, our Father, in the name of Jesus, that uh, life uh, shall still have meaning to them. Lord, we bless you and we honor you. We want to pray that uh, you are going to bring life in families. Uh, yes, uh, you are going to bring life uh, where there is a dead situation. Maybe a job that has come to an end. Maybe a business that has been consumed uh, by fire. I pray that you are going to bring hope uh, to the hopeless in the name of Jesus. I pray Jehovah in the name of Jesus that you are going to bring hope to the church of Jesus Christ. Uh, you are going to bring hope in our country in the name of Jesus that even when he, the Kenyan politics uh, are getting uh, hot and uh, worse, uh, your power is going to be seen, King of Glory. Thank you, Jehovah Master. We worship you and uh, we bless you this evening, Jehovah God. Uh, as we end our fellowship uh, this evening, Jehovah, I pray that you are going to dismiss us uh, with your blessing uh, that God, uh, we shall walk by this encouragement uh, that you are calling upon us uh, never to cry anymore because your power is at work in our lives. Thank you for hearing our prayer. Thank you, God, that you are going to do more than we can ask or imagine. For this is our faithy prayer in Jesus' name. And all of us, we say, amen. Can we celebrate Jesus? Can we celebrate the Lord? Amen, amen, amen. Thank you. We will say the grace as we march forward and we give our offering as we go home. May the Lord bless you so much. Shalom. The peace of God be with you. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. God bless you so much. Asande. Asande.